Today we are going to see a new chapter Plant Morphology and Taxonomy of Angiosperm Plant Morphology means the study of external characters of the plant is called Plant Morphology and Taxonomy of Angiosperm means already we had, see, we had come across this word Taxonomy in your first chapter Taxonomy means the arrangement and norms. So, the classification, identification and naming of organism is known as taxonomy. Angiosperms. Angio means closed. Sperms means seeds. So, closed seeds bearing plants are called angiosperm. So, in that we are going to see the vegetative morphology. In the vegetative morphology, we will discuss about the habit. So, Unit 2, Chapter 3 in Botany and Plant Morphology. As we have discussed this plant morphology in the topic itself, the study of external futures of organism is called morphology. So, morphology means external morphology. So, it is the plant morphology is otherwise known as external morphology. The study of shape, size and structure of plants and their paths, root, stem, leaves and flowers, fruits and seeds is called the morphology. The study of external characters of a plant is called morphology. The study of morphology, you must know about the morphology of the plant to study the taxonomy. So, the study of morphology is important for taxonomy. The plant morphology can be studied under two broad categories. Vegetative morphology, reproductive morphology. Vegetative mor morphology means it deals with the stem, root and leaves. So which is shortly known as shoot system and root system. Reproductive morphology means flower or inflorescence, fruit and seed. Okay. So, we are going to discuss about the vegetative morphology. Today, in that vegetative morphology, that is the study of shape, size and structure of the parts of the root, shoot, that is root, stem and leaves. Root and shoot. We will simply say it as root system and shoot system. Like that also we can say. To understand the vegetative morphology, we must, there are some of the components, important components that we must know. They are habit, habitat and lifespan. And today we will see the habit. Habit. So it is the general form of the plant. Whether the plant is a shrub, herb and tree. So the general form of the plant is called habit. So, based on the habit, it is divided into four categories. Herbs, shrubs, climbers and trees. So, first we will see the herb. So, the herb is a, so green leaves, okay. It is a 10 centimeter plant. So, it won't grow beyond 10 centimeter. So, it is soft stemmed plant. And there is no wood, that is no secondary growth will be taken in the herb. So example, Philanthus amaris, Kiranelli, Cleom viscosa. So these are the example for herbs. So according to the duration of the life, the herb is classified into annuals, biennials and perennials. Annuals means the plant which leave, which completes its life cycle for in one year. It is called annual. So, on the plant which completes the life cycle in two years, it is called biennials. The plant live for many years is called perennials. Okay. So, the perennial herbs are there. Bulb. Bulb example is onion, comb, colocasia, rhizome, ginger, tuber, potato. So, they are, they are the underground stem and the underground stemmed plants are called geophytes. Geophytes means ground, soil, below the ground. That is 
below the soil or underground plants are called geophytes example allium sepa allium sepa is the botanical name of onion okay so this is an example for your herb so the herb can grow very well less than 10 cm okay and the stem is weak there is weak and it is green in color green in color mean they will say it as herbaceous okay next shrub so a shrub is a perennial perennial means what which grows for many years and it is a which leaves for not which grows not which leaves for many years and it is a woody plant with with many stems main stems okay so which is at the ground level okay example hi hibiscus rosa sinensis shoe flower so the shrub will be uh, grown till 15 meters tall okay and you have seen the hibiscus rosa sinensis shoe flower which is commonly called as shoe flower so like this so it will grow to a height only till this height it will grow okay so like that if it grows to up to 15 cent 15 meters then the plant is called a shrub okay example hibiscus rosa sinensis next climbers or vines so the climbers are weak stem and they need a support for the climbers to support to leave okay so and the climbers stem may be herbaceous herbaceous means the stem is green and it doesn't possess a secondary growth and in some the they are woody also the secondary growth is seen lion so it is a woody climber perennial climber so the major component it is seen in tree canopy layer of some tropical forest so it is a canopy layer that is it forms a layer of the forest okay in the tropical forest example ventilago entada bohain villa so bohain villa is kaida pu so this is the i had given the woody climber bohain villa okay next trees a tree is a stout tall perennial woody plant so the it is woody we know the trees are tall and straight and stout and they are perennial leaf for many years and they have a large trunk the trunk and they possesses the branches lateral branches so the example for trees is mango sapota jackfruit fig teak okay if the trunk remains unbranched it is called caducus so caducus example pomiara palm that is panai maram in tamil and coconut that is you know coconut very well so they doesn't have branches so the leaves are at the top like that it is called as like the type of tree with unbranched it is called as cadex okay cadex cadex so this is a tree example and thanks for watching the video if you like the video give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel